What is going on everyone? My name is Jazz and thanks for answering the Lobby of Hobbies. I'm back with another episode of Lobby Talks and on this episode we're going to be talking Kickstarters. If you're like me, you've taken that deep dive down into the rabbit hole which is Kickstarter, you know, um, and you always are trying to figure out what I'm going to be backing, what games probably I'm going to be selling off of my shelf to be able to back the games that I want to back. And also you're always trying to figure out and deep dive deep into these uh, campaigns to figure out what pledge level you're going to be jumping in at. So we're going to be taking a look at Night Market from Talent Strike Studios designed by Adam Zwayne. Now this is one that I had the pleasure of getting a prototype copy sent to me last week and I've been checking this one out. Um, we've got it to the table. I'm going to let you know what I think about it and you know what this has to offer. We're in the you know the last stretch, the home stretch of this one. Um, we got just over 24 hours left. So if you're like me, you're trying to figure out where you are in respect to this pledge, what you're going to be pledging at, which level, or whether or not you're going to back it in general. Um, stay tuned on the other side for this one. All right, so let's jump into this campaign page. Let's see what still needs to be unlocked. Um, let's see where they're at, and let's see if this is something that you know you're thinking about backing or you think it's it's worth backing. Um, so right now they're at about 61, a little over $61,000 raised, 28 hours left to go at the time that I'm recording this, but of course it's going to be much less when you guys are watching this. Um, but again, Night Market's a worker placement game where you're creating um, a, a night market during the day phase. You're trying to collect your resources and your dishes to be able to sell to your um, customers during the night phase, and your customers want um, specific dishes from specific stalls within your market, so you have to find ways to expand your market. Um, you know, which customers are you going to hire into your market or, or not hire, attract into your market um, is going to be very important. So right now they're looking at unlocking dual layer boards or well, dual layer main boards. It would nice be nice to see some dual layer player boards. Um, give me that uh, stretch goal. Um, but, you know, dual layer, anytime you see dual layer boards, that's a bonus for me. Um, you have the uh, goal cards that you have here. Um, just another added element to add variability to the game and ways to kind of shoot for a goal to be able to get a bonus, which is pretty cool. Um, they've already unlocked these fruit stands, so I guess give you money as your um, customers go through it. But what I like about this game is from the base pledge, you know, Kickstarter exclusives start in the base pledge where you're getting these upgraded wooden silks, you know, silk printed um, components, silk screen printed components. Um, so that's nice to see that, uh, especially at this at the um, base pledge you a lot of times you see that only in the deluxe pledge um, but what's important to note is that these little mini expansions the metro pack and the formosa tour pack are only going to be um, given to people who back this game at least at the base pledge during the campaign so if you back it at a dollar and you um, upgrade during the pledge manager these are not going to be um, included it's probably something you're gonna get as an add-on so this is what made me up my one dollar pledge was this right here of course i played it i enjoyed it um but i wanted this these additional um upgrades so that's why i went in um, instead of just waiting for the pledge manager to upgrade but this is one thing that i liked about this game was this comboing portion where if you place two workers down and there's a space in between them um you're gonna get the uh dish or the resource from the spot that you place as well as the spot in between your two workers but if you do a triple combo which is if you place three in a row you're going to get the resources from all three of those spots which is something that i really really liked about this game but again you have these um, lantern actions that you're going to be doing throughout the game where you're either going to be hiring new chefs building out your stalls again you need to build these stalls out so that you can um be able to sell from those stalls to the customers that are looking to purchase from those stalls throughout the game and you're also going to be able to attract new customers so the game is broken down into the day phase and the night phase um, so the day phase you're pretty much building everything gathering everything and getting it ready for your customers to purchase things during the evening because that's how you're going to get your money to be able to do things again during the day phase um, and as you go through fulfill different requirements you're going to be able to upgrade your stalls and score points that way but i'm not going to go through all the rules of how to play the game but again during the base pledge you're going to pretty much get the game some of the upgraded kickstarter exclusive wooden components again getting that deluxe feel from a base uh, level pledge and then you'll also get the um the two mini expansions i guess like i call them mini expansion but the metro pack and the formosa tour pack which you know i watched some of the playthroughs of those um pretty cool um 
additions to what the base game originally already had. Um, the deluxe pledge, you're going to even get um, upgraded um, food tokens, upgraded uh, money, and some more uh, the upgraded season tokens, which are going to be acrylic. It's going to be nice. And, but you also get to pick one of the four different expansions. I'm not going to go through all the expansions. You can see them on this campaign page because I'm going to um, link the, the Kickstarter um, campaign down in the description below. But the all-in pledge is going to give you everything that you see there, all the expansions on top of adding these festival cards. Um, but if you just want to go a la carte, they have the add-ons. You can get the festival packs or you can choose which expansions you want. And there's a description of all the different expansions here. And what's cool is that these expansions are modular you can pick and choose which expansions you want to play with um, and they have a good ex explanation of all the different expansions what they do what they add to the game what changes um, now the base game itself had a lot of um, had a lot of variability so you know adding a little bit more is good and what's what's what I found interesting is that it didn't really make the game that much more complicated it just added more things to do which I like a game that when you add expansions it doesn't just over complicate the game it still f plays streamlined it just gives you more ways to score points um, so they have the upgrade they've unlocked you know the nice the nice uh, game box the linen finished cards you know you have the different more different tokens um, you have these puzzle boards so the, like I said it's a modular expansion so be able to pick and choose and have these boards that interlock I thought that was a really neat addition to the game um, you're gonna be able to get more customer cards different uh, silkscreen chef cards more tiles but here you go box inserts man games that are putting these box inserts that you know make it easy to set up and break down is always a plus for me um, I love it bye bye bag right so again more um, upgraded wooden components more tokens that they've unlocked um, the sous chefs I'm interested to see how that adds elements to the game more upgraded wooden components this game even at the base level is going to have a deluxe feel um, so I think right now if you're in at the dollar pledge um, you know if you're only in at a dollar the only thing you're really going to be missing out if you upgrade it later during the campaign or during the pledge manager is that you're going to be missing out on those too many expansions. I guess the um, the Formosa and the Metro packs, right? Um, so check this campaign out. Check a little um, through the playthroughs and the descriptions there, and just find out if this game is right for you. I knew it was right for me because as I was playing, it gave me me, me and um, one of my friends at the table were saying that this game had to feel like five tribes but in a worker placement style game where your moves were you had to really make calculated decisions on how you made your moves could it you know open way lead way to some ap or analysis paralysis throughout the game yes um but it wasn't where the game was overly complicated it just you know it just really made you think about your moves which was good because you were thinking about your moves the entire time so when it wasn't your turn you were still engaged which i like about games right um, so he even said Yamatai was another one that this game gave him that feel of which is another Bruna Cathala uh, Days of Wonder um, design um, but yes if you enjoyed those games and you like worker placement this is one to check out but um, I'm not going to get any longer on this one thank you so much for stopping through if you like the content if you want to see more content like this give me a thumbs up down below um, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel and again, I'll check you guys out in the next episode. Leave a comments down below. Let me know if this one that you've uh, considered backing, are you backing it? Um, if you're like me, there's probably in at a dollar. Wasn't unsure about this one, um, but I had the chance to play it. You know, I enjoyed it. I, I loved it at what it is already. Um, but seeing what they added to the campaign is really what made me up my pledge. So I'll check you guys out on the next episode. Thanks for stopping through.